we are probably familiar with images of military police dogs being used to sniff out explosives, drugs, or even stalking. And there are many animals that are more useful than many people think. Like this brown bear who became one of Poland's soldiers and has become one of the most famous brown bears, in 1942, during World War II, Polish troops passed through a village in Hamadan, Iran, accidentally met an Iranian boy holding a brown bear cub. This brown bear's mother was killed by hunters, but the cub survived and was rescued by a boy. He has raised it ever since. The Polish army made a request to buy a brown bear. It was named Wojciech, which means happy warrior in Polish. Wojciech was raised by Poland's 22nd Artillery Supply Company. Soldiers treated Wojciech like a baby. They fed Wojciech using baby bottles that were converted from vodka bottles. As the Wojciech grew up, they fed Wojciech fruits, jam, honey and nectar which is food for soldiers. Wojciech quickly grew among the people and soldiers. Wojciech soon started drinking beer, which became Wojciech's favorite drink, and he could also smoke. Wojciech was a soldier's favorite. They let him sleep in and played around the campfire at night. Wojciech was trained to hang a new soldier's leg upside down to intimidate and laugh. Another leisure activity for soldiers was wrestling, and of course, Wojciech was a strong contender. Soldiers often wrestled with Wojciech and also liked to take Wojciech in their cars to drive around, causing the villagers to be stunned and surprised. Wojciech became a symbol of military units. While he likes to run after soldiers collecting oranges used in grenade throwing drills, Wojciech helped transport ammunition, and many soldiers believed that the bear could help load cannonballs. In fact, Wojciech was only carrying empty ammunition, and Wojciech was a good morale booster for the soldiers. In 1943 Poland went to war with Italy. Port officials also refused to let Wojciech board a Polish Navy warship. Stating that Wojciech was a wild animal and that only people with a passport can travel on board, Wojciech couldn't travel with the company that raised him. So the soldiers worked together to resolve the issue and get approval from the platoon commander, allowing Wojciech to become a corporal and to have his payroll identification number along with his passport to be able to board the ship. In 1944, during the Monte Cassino War, Wojciech did his best as an infantry force helping soldiers carry 100-pound artillery ammunition crates and other munitions with soldiers on the front lines. Wojciech's courage, the 22nd Artillery Company requested to change the combat unit badge to a picture of Wojciech holding cannonballs. After World War II ended, Wojciech with 3,000 Polish soldiers were sent to the Winfield Aerodrome at Hutton in Berwickshire, Scotland where Wojciech became a local celebrity. Wojciech has attended village dances, children's parties, participated in concerts and even let the children ride on his back. Four years later, Wojciech was discharged from the military and sent to Scotland's Edinburgh Zoo, where Polish soldiers would often visit and toss him cigarettes but nobody lit a cigarette for him. In 1963, Wojciech, a former Polish army bear, died of unknown causes at the age of 22. This event caused great sadness, especially to Wojciech's comrades. Wojciech became a symbol of the friendship between Poland and Scotland and was in the memory of both countries. In 2013 Scotland created the Wojciech Memorial Trust to commemorate the story of the Bear Soldiers and the connection between Scotland. In the same year, Poland erected a statue of Wojciech in Krakow to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the Monte Cassino War between Poland and Italy.